at least hundreds upon hundreds of Canada geese out there. And it looks like there's a lot of gulls as well. I'm, guess, I'm guessing ring-billed gulls probably be it. But um, I did see those in particular. They all like flew up basically in the big, you know, this big wave of white. And I think it's really gorgeous. So hopefully I get to get a chance to actually capture that picture. I think they're like really beautiful against, because most of the lake is actually pretty, pretty much just snow. It's frozen, frozen over, but it's all the way in the back end is where all this, all these um, waterfowl are. So should be a really good day. Good rest of the day at least. So see how it goes. But first I'm gonna have my meal and then we'll get going. Never underestimate a nice warm meal on a cold winter day. It's just such a darn shame what happened to this battery grip. Uh, still kind of beat myself up over that. I should have been more careful, you know, stepping around, especially on that slippery slope, you know, where it fell. But I guess I can be thankful, you know, it was this instead of, you know, the $1,000 camera or the $200 lens, you know, stuff like that. I mean, this is only $40, and it's, you know, like I said, it's not, it's not official... OEM, you know, Canon brand or whatever. So, just one of those knockoff ones. Because I wanted to save money, but I think, yeah. Next time I'm definitely going to, you know, get get one that's more durable. I'll probably get like a Canon one. But, yeah. I, I don't know. I might mess around with it when I get back to HQ, but I think it's... I honestly think it's a loss. So, oh well. I'm all ready to go. I'm at Spring Valley Wildlife Area, and as the name suggests, it's teeming with wildlife. Um, today is no exception, but all seasons you can get tons of migratory waterfowl, and um, so today we got probably the largest concentration of Canada geese I've ever seen, at least personally for me. Um, I've also, some people walked by and were telling me they saw some widgeons and pintails, which would be nice to see, and there's tons of ring build looks like ring billed gulls, I believe. But, um, just gonna keep photographing and see what happens here. It's nice and peaceful. <laughs> Got some decent shots of um, the ring-billed gulls in flight. So I'll probably have to crop them down because they're a little too far away still, but they look pretty nice. And besides those Canada geese that just flew away, um, uh, also I think I spotted what looks like to be a northern shoveler, which I've never seen that that water bird before, so pretty cool. I haven't got any pictures of it really, besides like a documentation shot just to zoom in and see what it is. But um, without checking my field guides, uh, it looks like it looks like a northern shoveler. But other than that, we'll just keep continuing here. Still snowing a little bit, but no biggie. Actually, in this hunting blind right here, if you can tell, 
Yeah. Day's not over yet. It's coming down full force again. It's pretty windy now. The geese are freaking out. Keep cackling. <laughs> I don't know. I'm about ready to call it quits, I think, but we'll see. I guess that concludes today's trip to Spring Valley Wildlife Area. Um, it wasn't too bad, it wasn't the best, it wasn't the worst, but it's snowing pretty hard now. I'm gonna go home and check out the photos I got today. But until next time guys, have a great day and make sure to get out there. Get out here. See you guys.